Welcome back to Keeping Up in Disney. We've been back from our Disney trip for about a month now. Exactly. Yeah, and we wanted to make a video kind of talking about our trip, some of the things we got to do, some of the things we did do from our we're going to Disney video. If you haven't seen that one, we'll put it above too. And some of the things that we didn't do, but all of those things will just be on our list for next time to do in Disney World because there's always more to do and always so many fun experiences to try. And the most exciting part of the video, we are sharing our merch that we bought in Disney World because some of it wasn't filmed, so we just want to show you guys what we got. Let's get on in it. Starting off about the trip, there is no longer the Magical Express. We had the option to do Sunshine, Flyer, Mirrors, Uber. We decided to use a lift from the airport and it was not expensive and we got there pretty fast. We got there in like 25 minutes so it was a quick drive from the airport which I was a little bit skeptical because sometimes the big buses like you have to go to different resorts and it takes longer to get to the resort. Definitely still missed Magical Express though and that being free and fun and Disney themed so we'll forever kind of just miss the Magical Express but yeah. the Uber slash Lyft worked pretty well and it was yeah it was about I think it was right around $35 before mm -hmm. uh, tip each time we took it. So we did want to talk about like our favorite meal and snack and like drink that we had. Ari, you can start off with like your absolute favorite meal. My favorite meal was definitely the Storybook Dining with Snow White. The video hasn't been posted on our channel yet, so if you want to see that one when it comes, do make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to catch that one once we post it because it's gonna be so much fun and that meal was really, really delicious. So that was mine. We had a prime rib with amazing mashed potatoes and this really cool like bread horn. So I'll throw a photo of it in here as well so you can kind of see it too. But it was delicious and we can't wait for that video to be posted on our channel. My favorite meal, prime rib from the storybook dining as well. That was really good. It was just so delicious. And it was a really, really big portion size. And along with the characters, that whole meal was just amazing. And then your favorite snack. My favorite snack was probably the cinnamon roll bites uh, with the candied bacon from, it was the food booth in Epcot. They were delicious. Oh, they were so good. They reminded me a lot of, I don't know if I said this in the video, this one also hasn't been posted on the channel yet, but they really reminded me of those Taco Bell, like Cinnabites, Cinnabon Bites, if you ever had those, the little ones that are like circles with cream cheese icing inside. They're almost like those, but better and more like fluffier and bigger. And it wasn't just like a, ball of you know cream cheese inside it was much more delicate and balanced and the bacon on top added a whole nother layer of flavor so those were definitely delicious my favorite snack candied bacon on a stick that always looks delicious i've tried bites of jamie's before and it's really yummy but i've never gotten a full one myself yeah i did try a lot of like good things this trip too the beef tenderloin tip with the mashed potatoes I don't know if you would consider that a snack or like a meal, but I got that at the booth in Canada and I really liked that and that was another real one of my like most favorite snacks. But also, I can't forget my queso in Mexico. And then our favorite drinks. <laughs> that we tried this time? I will say mine. Mine is probably the cantaloupe because I got that a lot, but of course I probably would have gone with the avocado margarita. But I also did really like the duck duck razz. Oh yeah, okay, so my favorite drink was probably the duck duck razz. It was really good flavors, it was pretty strong. The duck was just a fun touch and I really loved the foam that was like a bubble bath. So if you haven't seen that video, we'll put our boathouse review above because having the duck duck razz and double ducking was super fun. But also I just wanted to add that favorite non-alcoholic drink, um, I did get this specialty beverage at Space 220. That was, uh, it's like a mocktail, a space mocktail. It was crazy. It had pop rocks, it, the drink, it just with the pop rocks, it was exploding and popping in my mouth and had amazing flavors and it was truly an experience. 
and it came with cool trading cards which you'll see in the merch section of this video. Favorite ride of the trip? Mine definitely was Expedition Everest just because that one's usually like up there and always is a great ride but this time especially I didn't think I was going to be able to ride it. It was closed the whole time and then like the opening date was announced while we were there and it just happened to be two days before we were leaving and we had an Animal Kingdom park reservation so it ended up working out perfectly with being able to go on Expedition Everest and I was so happy to ride it. For me my favorite ride, Flight of Passage because just when we rode it like this last time it was the first time riding it with seeing the movie for the first like finally seeing the movie and I, act I knew what was going on and what everything was in there so it was more special to me and I was just I just remember being really happy after. The best moment of our trip or kind of like favorite thing we did? Meeting Ariel. And that was after character meet and greets were fully back too, so it was just so cool to be able to see mystery surprise princesses. And that video has not come out yet, but we did. They said they were mystery princesses, so we actually waited twice and Jamie ended up meeting Ariel. It was awesome. I was so happy. Also, being able to do the storybook dining. I really wanted to do that for a long time. Yeah, that and was... seeing Dopey and up close and personal. Yeah, I would say one of my best moments of the trip was just being on the boardwalk too. Just playing like fun boardwalk games. Like I played this little smack hammer lobster launch game that was really fun and we just looked around and then had a delicious meal and it was a great night um as well as storybook dining and um just uh, there were so many great moments on the trip that we can't wait to share in our videos too actually that beaches and cream and boardwalk video is going to be posted like very soon or this week or has just been posted so whenever that's up we'll put a link to that above too because it was awesome and then we wanted to talk a little bit about the genie plus and lightning lane situation and kind of how our experience with it was and what we thought about the system after using it a couple times so we didn't book it like ahead of time for our whole trip to have for all the days we just you know kind of picked and choose like some days when we were feeling like doing certain rides or a lot of rides we bought genie plus and we went on some of them the days that we didn't we still got on rides we did other shows and things that we don't normally do we tried some new things so that was a lot of fun but overall i would say so genie plus if you know how to use it and you're refreshing and using like the tips and tricks like you know booking every two hours once you can or after you've done a ride being on right at 7 a.m to book certain rides and make sure you get your individual lightning lanes um, all of that, if you know how to do that and you're prepared and really take the time to plan throughout the day and look into the app, you can definitely get on a lot of rides and it can be worth your money. It is $15 a person per day. So for like the two of us, it's not that bad. It's $30 a day to basically, you know, skip a lot of lines, do a lot of cool rides, really make the best use of your time. But at the same time, like the other end of it is if you had a family or a lot of people, that's it could be like easily over $100 in a day to add that on and pay for that, which starts getting really pricey on top of already park tickets and hotel stays and everything else. It can be a hard system to use. A lot of the lanes can be booked up. You might not be able to get some of the rides you want or you might only get like two or three in a day. And at that point, you're spending so much money for, you know, not much. So it's definitely, I, I don't know. I feel like the system could use a little bit of work. It, I don't totally object to a pay for skip the line system. We definitely just miss the days of free fast passes too yes. and being able to book them ahead of time. And then, you know, you know, even 60 days in advance, like on this day, you can do this, this, and this ride at this time. And then you can book your dining outside of that or kind of just plan your day a little bit better. It's a little bit more of a toss up now, especially with the recent announcement that you can't even pre-buy Disney Genie Plus for your trip you have to buy it the morning of. So you're gonna have to decide if you wanna do it, get on right at 7 a.m. every morning and start booking your rides right away to get the most use out of it. So we actually did try Genie Plus in the Magic Kingdom for a full day. We had a day video, which we'll put above, um, where we got on a lot of rides. And then we also had a night video, which we'll also link above, where we went back at night and actually were able to stack some of our lightning lanes beforehand, watch fireworks and have an amazing time. So uh, we have a couple tips and tricks in there too, and a little bit of our review on how it went. And then we also have another Hollywood Studios video coming up where we use Genie Plus again, and it was really fun. It was pretty busy. 
The busiest park I would say was Hollywood Studios. It was kind of hard to even get on rides if you didn't want to wait a really long time, like over an hour. We're gonna get into the exciting part. We are going to show you our merch that we got. A spoiler, Ari is wearing the Art of Animation. Spirit jersey. Spirit jersey. Which we did show in our Arrival Day video because we bought these pretty much like right away, but it's awesome. It's kind of like blue and fades into white, looking like you're under the ocean and it's got crush on it. And the back, you can kind of see it. It says Art of Animation Resort with the letters just like the logo and it's super cool. So it is a spirit jersey and we, we actually both got these. So Jamie will show you hers too. Yeah. So yeah, mine is so folded up. So it has a tag and everything. Front, it's ombre blue to white and then the logo on the back. I'm really excited to finally be able to wear this. Here's Crush. It's very nice and very comfortable. I really like this. I have a lot of spirit jerseys now, but yeah. this is definitely one of my favorites, and it's a special one because we really, really like Art of Animation. They should definitely keep doing more resort-specific merch because it's so much I fun. Do, I did really want a Art of Animation one. I did want the ears, and Ari was always on the lookout for the backpack. We don't know if there's a backpack, but, but I've always just kind of But he's hoping that there yeah, may be one. I hope that there's a lounge fly art of animation backpack coming soon. And I, I don't know, fingers crossed. I feel like there's a good chance because a lot of the most popular resorts get lounge fly backpacks, like the like, Riviera yeah. has a really cool one. Art of animation got lounge fly ears. So that's why I think maybe a backpack it's a sign. could be in the works, yeah. We always go into the perfume store in Norway because I love the Layla perfume. The guy who creates the perfume and all of the stuff in there happened to be there on my birthday and on Easter. I did get some things. I got some Voth Voth dog shampoo. I got it for Tinkerbell. And the special part since he was there, he did sign the bottle. It's a little smeared. But we have given Tinkerball a bath so far, and she always smells really good yeah, after. Yeah, it smells delicious. It's and really good dog shampoo. Here he is, the man himself. He signed one for Tinkerball as well. And then along with that, I just got a bunch of samples. You can never go wrong with any samples. Back in Storybook Circus, they I think it's Big Top yeah, it's Souvenirs. Just the, the Big Top um, Souvenir Store. I got this special pen. It's Lizzie McGuire because Lizzie McGuire was, is my favorite Disney Channel show. We're getting more into collecting pens, so I really wanted this one. I've never seen a Lizzie one before, so I'm super excited about that. And I got this really cute, dopey one. I love it with the gems on his eyes. We did bring some special friends back. We brought back our rubber duckies from, from the boathouse. Boat yeah, and the Duck Duck Razzes, so. This Maybe we'll make our own Duck Duck Razz one day at home and we'll put our duckies in them. They're very cute. It's just fun that you get to take the ducks with you. Here is our Easter hunt that we did in Epcot, completed. I brought that back. This is actually in our boardwalk video too. We did go into a little photo booth on the boardwalk and take these fun pictures that have the boardwalk logo. So that's just the fun memory from that night too. Mm -hmm. And as always, always gotta get some of the penny, pressed pennies. They're fun souvenirs. So we also did get this from Storybook Dining and on the back it has all of their autographs. Thought this was a cool souvenir to bring back. And of course, I brought back some of the 50th anniversary Joffrey coffees. Some of Disney's H2O sea salt like face wash. So I do like using this and it's a nice free souvenir to bring back. And we did get these really cool um, coasters from Oga's Cantina. And I like having coasters in my room, so. I thought these were pretty cool. Like that on one side, that on the other. Hi guys, so we forgot to add, um, I also did buy this shoulder pork in Hollywood Studios. There's a little magnetic part on the bottom that you put underneath your clothes. 
and then it just sticks on your shoulder. Um, it also does make sounds, so. when you bump its head. We did get the Simba popcorn bucket and we've wanted this for years. I was so excited when I saw that they were selling this. Our first Animal Kingdom day. So that was such a surprise and we're so happy we have it. And of course, I got a Nala Bigfoot plush. You all know I am in love with the Big Feet plushes at Disney World and they were out of them for a while because of COVID so I'm so happy that they now have a lot of them coming back and Nala was the one that I really wanted the most besides Dumbo but yeah they also had Eeyore and Winnie the Pooh so many other different ones and I just had to go with Nala. And now I'm gonna show off some of my merch. I did buy a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna try to go through it kinda quickly. Yeah I definitely tried to control my merch spending this trip. There were more some more things that I did want to get. That flight crew shirt from La Cava, this home sweatshirt that you'll see. And they had the Skyliner like glittery shirts. First thing is this. It's a figment snack box. These were actually like completer prizes for the little maps in Epcot. It's just a little snack box or like sandwich container. I don't know. So I got that one. This one is figment. And I also got the orange bird. Um, also a snack container. And then this one though, I did put some of my other things inside of here um, that I got while we were there too. So this was a little button that I got when I played some dino games in Dino Land, and they asked if I wanted to add on like a dollar or two to um, donate to the conservation fund and get a little button pin. So of course, this was super cool. And then as I mentioned, when I got my mocktail from Space 220, it actually came with these super, super cool trading cards for Space 220 that are like collector's items. And I think it's like one in every 2,000 cards is like a, a white card that's a special one. I didn't get a special white card, but these are just so much fun. You'll see him on opening them later on. Yeah, this is a really, really, really special item. There are a couple things that are really, really special along with this too, but it is an orange bird pin and look at him. He is so cute. This orange bird pin, along with all of these amazing orange bird stickers. So like, look at this, like the America orange bird, Morocco orange bird, around the world, Canada orange bird. Even just like these really cool stickers, like you've got a friend in me, um, Woody and Buzz drinking a beer. They're all so cool. So actually all of these stickers, and this orange bird pin were just given to me. It was the most amazing thing ever. We actually met up with someone who I knew from Instagram and Facebook who is in a few orange bird groups and has an amazing, amazing Etsy shop. The Instagram and the Etsy shop are Magnetic Flux Co. We'll go ahead and throw the Instagram in here. They have really, really cool stuff. Amazing orange bird pins and stickers, anything else. I think there's like air fresheners, magnets. So definitely check out the shop. But yeah, we actually ran into the guy who who is involved with that shop and I've always kind of seen on Instagram and he, it was awesome, he was so nice. He gave us these stickers and this pin which are like the coolest things ever. They seriously just made my trip so we can't wait to share that video too on the channel because that was an awesome experience. And then next, keeping up with the orange bird theme, I got this orange bird hat which is super cool. I didn't get this at Disney, but I brought it just because I wanted to show it. It was there when I got back from Disney because I ordered it on Amazon. It's like a little orange bird pendant flag too, so that's awesome. I'm gonna put it with an orange bird display. Keeping with the orange bird theme, here's my orange bird sipper cup. Um, this came I wish with I an could amazing. Drink one of those right now. Yeah, it came with the most amazing orange cream slush. It was so refreshing and delicious. I wish I could drink it right now too, but the sipper is amazing. And then this, we actually just found this in the parks in Magic Kingdom. And so look, it's like a little Maleficent magnet made with those little plastic beads that kind of like melt together that, I don't know, I used to do as a kid sometimes, but, and it also says, yay, you found me. Please keep or rehide your prize. Please post to OPR Orlando Parks Rock on FB and Insta. So we found this in the parks and it was really, really cool. It's just a cool little souvenir. Something really fun to find in the parks. People sometimes will hide things around and leave little 
gifts. So I guess this was our first time finding one and it was really cool. Then I also got this BB-8 zipper. We walked into Hollywood Studios one night and I saw this and instantly just bought it because I loved it. So it's so cool. This thing is awesome. A Big Feet Figment plush. This was sold at Epcot in the Creation Store and I've been getting a couple Big Feet plushes. I now have a Big Feet Dale and a Big Feet Orange Bird. So I thought Big Feet Figment is super cool. Little Epcot icon. I can't believe icon. he bought a Bigfoot Figment. I think he's super cute, so I like him. And of course, go with the theme of it all. Orange Bird Popcorn. <laughs> it's orange popcorn. Are you ever gonna eat it? I don't know, I kinda wanna just say that it. it's really cool. It's, but it tastes it's really good. I know, I almost should've gotten two of them, but it's so cool. It's orange popcorn for the orange bird, so of course I had to get that. The Dino Prize plush and it's super cool. It actually has, you can see it says Disney's Animal Kingdom because this is a prize from one of the Dino Land games. So I actually did win a little Dino Prize. I really wanted this guy and the games were fun to play. So I was so happy about that. And I also won another Dino Prize. Here's Dino Land Mickey. So he's also wearing a shirt for the Dino Institute and he was a prize from the Dino games as well. So just really fun. And keeping up with the theme again, got an orange bird sticker. One of my favorites, Orange Bird Mug. I've actually I already- I really wanted one of these Yeah, those I've been using it to drink coffee already. And it is like a very big mug. Like it's wide and kind of like, so it holds a lot of liquids and coffee and it is for the Flower and Garden Festival. And it's just so cute. I, this is like my favorite mug. And then also again, keeping to with the theme. To go along with yeah, the theme. Everything is just with the theme. So this has like, it's almost like a Mickey head and a little orange bird cap on the top. And then we got the orange bird there on the cup and it's just kind of like a little plastic tumbler cup so it's super cool of course i had to get this as well and it's awesome Ooh, and something i've been very excited for jamie actually spotted these so they're kite tails blind box pins and kite tails actually i think they announced that they're going to be doing some of the last showing soon so who knows these pins may end up being kind of rare if um, they're not sold for too much longer but there are a lot of fun designs from the kite tails even characters that aren't in kite tails like i see pua and miko as kites so it's really cool but it's blind box mystery pins i don't know if there's one or two in these but oh each box contains two pins and i'm actually going to do it right now we always love doing blind box pins and i figure why not and when we do blind box pins we always like to look and see which one we'd most like to get so here are the options so some really cool characters and there is a chase pin the chase pin is just like silver though so like honestly i know the chase pins are more rare but i'd kind of prefer a character pin jamie out of them which one do you think you'd like to get rafiki nala scar but i'd also be okay with pua or nemo yeah so jamie liked Rafiki, Scar, Nala, and I think my top two are Rafiki, the Rainbow Rafiki as well, and I really like Zazu, actually. So I'd say those are my top two. Let's see what we got. And these are actually like, they're, they always come in little bags inside these two, but these ones are in individual bags. So there are two of them. So we're gonna open them up. Okay, so I open the bag, we have our eyes closed, we're gonna pour it out and then we're gonna take a look at it. So I'm eyes closed, I'm gonna put it on Jamie's Don't hands. Cheat. I'm not. Okay, three, two. two. One. Oh, okay, he's pretty cool. It's, did I even see this one on here? I don't know. Oh wait, it's the chase. Oh wait, so the chase, wow. Okay, wait, I'm- Wait, what's the chase? It, it oh, doesn't even show what it is, but check this pen. out. Yeah, so it wasn't actually just the, so if you can see on here, look at this, wait. So there's the, it shows, it shows the chaser and you can just kind of see like, whoa, what is that? But then look, it's we actually an got, elephant. we got the chase pin. Oh, I actually like this. Yeah, he's an elephant. And I love elephants. Wow, so now I can see like on the box, the outline of that pen is the elephant. Wow, that was kind of cool. I'm kind of yeah. glad we got the chase. How exciting. And now we still have another pen to do, okay. so let's do it. I'm having troubles with the bag. Here we go. I'm gonna put it on Jamie's hands. Three, two, one. Oh, I already okay. knew what it was. Yeah, Jamie, but it's Jamie so cheated cute. a little bit. Our second one is Nemo. Yeah, I'm happy with As a this kite. One. So we got the chase pin and Nemo, and the chase pin is really, really cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I like it, so that was fun. Wow. Wow, I wish I would have gotten more of those kite tails pins so we could have tried for other Which ones. Which ones were the ones I was telling you that you should have gotten? Those were the kite tails ones. And especially with, if kite tails is going away, that would have been a really cool, like, memory of it, but who knows? I wish we got more. Yeah, me too. So I've, those are most of my smaller like little souvenir items. Then I just got two bigger items that were some of like 
you know, lounge fly purchases, of course, so I'll show them off really quick. I got this Buzz Lightyear lounge fly backpack. This is one that I've wanted for a long time, and I've been collecting the Toy Story backpacks, and I do have like Woody, Jesse, and a Slinky Dog on the way, so of course I had to get Buzz Lightyear. And this one was actually just in the Art of Animation gift shop, so it worked out perfectly. I love this backpack, all the details on it, like the lasers, his suit, um, the green inside of the pockets here, the purple for the zippers. Of course, we gotta look at the lining. Of course, that's the most this one, important part. This one's actually got awesome lining, though. Look at that. It's the green aliens. It's just super cool. So I was Ari so happy was to find sure this. on a mission in space for this. Yes. And then last, but definitely not least, I was actually really, really hoping to get this. And when I started seeing that it was released in the parks while we were there, I was like, this couldn't be any more perfect. I mean, it did get an online release too, but I was just happy to get this while we were there to be able to take back. And it's just a really fun souvenir. Like I know this came from the animal kingdom on one of the last days of our trip. And this is the, so it's the Mickey Mouse main attraction, the second month series. This is the Pirates of the Caribbean. The first month was Space Mountain. I do have that backpack as well. And then this is Pirates. After this, the month of March is the Teacups, and then April is Small World, but Teacups just had its online release. Small World has not yet, but I was so happy to get this, and I'm gonna try to collect all the backpacks, so maybe as we get them, we can do some lounge fly backpack videos for our channel too, showing the Mickey Main Attraction series, because I do have the first two now and the third on the way, so. This one is awesome, actually. I love the black and gold details and the pirate details, and it's just like a really, really nice feeling luxe bag, perfect for the attraction. Action. And on the back here, actually, for all these Mickey Mouse main attraction ones, you've got the 50th tag for the Mickey Mouse main attraction series, and you've got the names of the attractions on the back. So this one is the Pirates one. The space bag actually has the Space Mountain written on the bottom, but out of those two so far, I'd say I'd, I probably like this one better. I like the black and gold, and I really like Pirates as an attraction too. It's just super cool. So let us know in the comments if you have any of the MMMA Mickey Mouse bags yet. MMMA. <laughs> and which one is your favorite so far out of any of the ones that have been released or shown. We finally made it through Ari's merch. Yeah, I know it was a lot. So let me know out of my items or Jamie's items, which was your favorite of the things that we got or what are some of your favorite souvenirs to buy when you're at Disney World? Some of mine are definitely, I love getting, I'm a sucker for like the souvenir cups and also of course launch fly backpacks. Like if you didn't stop me and if I had enough luggage room to take everything back, I would probably buy like 10 backpacks each trip. So let us know what you thought about anything that we talked about here, any of our experiences. Make sure to check out some of the vlogs that we've already posted. We're posting a lot of them. We've actually already gotten through like, you know, our beaches and cream reservation that's gonna be posted this week or sometime very soon or is already posted. And we have so many more videos coming from our trip and we're gonna be posting regularly every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So you can always expect a video then. So if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to the channel too and ring the bell button, as Jamie said, to catch all those videos when we post them. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like because it really does help our channel, helps put this video out there and helps us grow and allows us to make more awesome Disney World videos. And as always, thanks for keeping up in Disney and we will see you real soon. Bye! Bye.